This is the 150th anniversary year of Credit Suisse, and to celebrate, they've organized 30 events right the way around the globe. Tonight's gala here in Zurich is one of those events, and it pays homage to this man here, Alfred Escher. He founded Credit Suisse in 1856. He's also known as the founding father of modern-day Switzerland. They're celebrating under the motto, tradition to innovate. But what does that mean, tradition to innovate? Of course, we went through phases in the history of also being slow, and then of phases to being innovative, and then of phases to pump our head into walls. Ladies and gentlemen, lovely to see you all again. Movie of the year. Uh, to tell us more about that, would you welcome onto the stage from Rentrack to announce the winner, Lucy Jones. <laughs> Great to see you again, Lucy. Thanks for joining us. Here are the three final nominations. Alice in Wonderland from Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures. So I should have told you, we love it if you're partisan. If you want to shout for you company, you do it. See who can make the most noise. Uh, how about Warner Brothers, Harry Potter and the Deathly Harrows Part 1? <laughs> no, no, don't boo. <laughs> not clever, not polite. Uh, and finally, from Walt Disney Studios Motion Pictures, Toy Story 3. Good design lies at the heart of Audi. It's a commitment to excellence that gives the brand its unmistakable character and sets it apart from the opposition. But of course, Audi are not alone in their commitment to good, modern-day cutting-edge design. Because here in the west of London, there's a company whose unique approach to design has helped many different businesses launch successful products in lots of marketplaces. That company is called Seymour Powell. They're one of Britain's leading product design agencies. And I've come here today to meet one of the men whose name's on the door. His name is Dick Powell. Now, it's about lunchtime, and as you can see, people have just started to arrive. What do they expect? What's going to happen over the next few hours and indeed the next couple of days? Let's find out what their expectations are. I think it's important to build the one bank culture, and I think for all of our colleagues here from around the globe to really have a much better appreciation and understanding of one another. Well, it's now mid-afternoon, and the delegates are just coming out, having heard all about the one bank strategy. I want to find out what they think about it. The focus on clients and front office revenue production keeping our eye on that ball. I'm quick, they're back again. I better go and find out from them a little bit about what's been going on. Sorry to interrupt. Excuse me, I've got to catch you as you go past. Sorry, quick, 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 quick. All right, very, very quickly. Tell me what you've learned this afternoon that's going to make you work differently. What are you going to change about the way you work? I have to collaborate much more and much better with my colleagues from, uh, from the investment banks. Hello, I'm Paul Coyer, and I'm delighted to be able to brief you today on the launch of two new income funds. In the next 10 minutes, we'll cover why the funds are being launched, their key client benefits, and how they differ from the income products that are currently available. You've just done these roadshows, Tom. Tell me what sort of feedback you got on them. So the feedback during the roadshows in the, que in the question and answers was quite positive. Subsequently, I think I have also gotten generally positive uh, response to the, the way we've communicated. Now what we're going to do today is look at the three basics of advertising. That's simplicity, relevance and emotions. We'll be showing you examples of very good successful advertising. We'll be asking you to analyze it. Also, we'll be seeing what sort of lessons you can learn and take into daily business life. Now, the first of the three things that I mentioned was simplicity, and perhaps I can start with you, Manfred, and tell me exactly why simplicity is important in advertising. Sometimes you kind of uh, mix up uh, simplicity with being ordinary, mm. but you can be genius at the same time. It really depends on the message and the way how you convey it. We're going to look at some examples of successful adverts, and we're going to look at one straight away, which is very simple, but very effective. It's this one for the Volkswagen Beetle. Well, as you can see and hear, the gala is now coming towards an end. And there'll be three more galas over the coming months in London, New York and Hong Kong. We've spoken a lot today here in Zurich about tradition and history. And that's obviously important to a company like Credit Suisse because it not only reflects the past, but it points the way to the future too.